A family's long wait for justice is finally over, more than 10 years after a loved one was killed in Philadelphia. Four people have been convicted for the murder, which turned out to be a case of mistaken identity. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is in Spring Garden with the latest. Matt? Jess, we heard from the victim's emotional widow. She had been wearing a button of her loved one for a decade until today. These buttons are not new. These buttons are 10 years old. They say justice for Kevin. Family, take the buttons off. Justice is done. Justice is served. Widow Kenya Drink says her family can finally have some closure. Now more than a decade since her husband was shot and killed by North Broad Street and Gerard Avenue back in 2011. Eyewitness News was at this call for justice in 2012 when Kevin Drink's widow announced a reward for her husband's killer. Kevin Drink was a hard-working, God-fearing man. Police eventually connected these four to the shooting. They're Chad Rennells, Michael Blackston, Samaja Armstead, and Rashawn Combs. Officers say the four wrongly identified Drinks as a witness in a previous murder before Drinks was gunned down. He was just minding his business, going to work, you know. But once we did get a, a look at the picture of who, who the guys wanted, he did look exactly like my brother. Police arrested Rennells in connection to the initial murder. Investigators then tracked down the other suspects after they listened to the phone recordings of Rennell while he was in custody. They were discussing over and over again the description of the witness, where he works, what kind of car he drives. Rennells, Blackston, and Armstead have all been convicted of first degree murder and sentenced to life without parole. Combs was convicted of third degree murder and is scheduled for sentencing in June. And the victim's widow says she wants to do what the Bible says and forgive her husband's killers. It's something she tells me she's working on. Live in Spring Garden, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.